Ladies and gentlemen, welcome out. Miss Beverly Brown here with us. Miss Beverly, I can't believe it's been a year since the last FanCon, but here we are, and we got a packed house back here today. Here we are a year later. This is our third FanCon. Exciting. Everything today is sci-fi, fantasy, superheroes. <laughs> there they are. There they Comments. Are. That's right, yeah, and look, so much going on, so, and a great crowd already. Great Tell crowd. me, what are all these tables back here? Oh my goodness, we have vendors, we have comic book, um, we have authors, artists, we have um, superheroes, the people who sell the products right, for right. all of that, just lots of vendors. No doubt, and of course we got some people outside as well. Who's outside? We have the big green reading machine here. Um, we have the virtual um, lib library that we use here. We also have um, game trailer outside. Okay. We have food trucks outside. Just almost anything you can think of right. to make it fun. Yeah, no doubt about it. And Ms. Beverly, I think an, an event like this is so special because it's for anybody, all ages. I mean, would you agree with that? I would. In the children's department, we have a dance party. There you go. And we have story time. And uh, if you go through there in a little bit, you'll see children, we want them to be very loud today in the library. That's right, yeah. Hey, we're changing things up here today. And I know there's, a, is there a speaker coming up here soon? Who we got speaking? We do, we have Bob Padaris, and he okay. is the uh, founder of SCAD's Sequential Art Program. Gotcha. So we're excited to have him. And at some point today, we're gonna to have Middle Georgia um, Paranormal Investigations, okay. a fitting group for this type of program. Yeah, t tell me a little bit more about that. Well, what they're gonna do is they're going to tell us about how they investigate that okay. that uh, paranormal investigation process. Yes, so if you're interested in the supernatural and how all this stuff works, make sure, stay tuned, 12 o'clock in there the auditorium. Go. There you go. <laughs> how, are you, how are you able to get uh, those two speakers to come here today? Well, actually, uh, Miss Christina Trotta, um, okay. she is uh, the person who uh, reaches out to all these different groups. And if anyone hears about someone who wants to attend, um, they let us know and we contact them. And this event is growing. Every, yeah. it, you know, it's gotten bigger and bigger every year, and we hope to continue to grow. But uh, through word of mouth, you know. Um, some of our sponsors, uh, they tell us about different people and we contact them. Right. And um, some of these people have been here, this is their third year. Gotcha, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I can speak on that just being here last year. You can you can see the growth already, and it's only 1030 here. 10 we, got, we got some more hours. And Ms. Beverly, you mentioned your sponsors there. This wouldn't be possible without them, so we got a shout out. That's right. So we have Dublin Lawrence County Recreation Authority. Um, we have Lawrence County School Literacy and Learning. Um, Dublin City Schools, we have the Big Green Reading Machine, and of course we have the Bank of Dudley. There you go. There's mm -hmm. just some special spark, uh, sponsorships there, and look, those local businesses, local schools, that's so important for an event like this, and it's going to be a great day here at the a library. A great day at the Lawrence County Library. That's right. <laughs> FanCon here, 2023 edition, packed house, so much going on. Y'all stay tuned. This is Miss Beverly Brown. Thank you, Miss Beverly. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got Miss Christina, and so important she is, the the event coordinator. So tell me about that, and tell me about planning this event, Miss Christina. Well, it's um, it's been a real pleasure to plan the event this year. We have so many people from all over. That's right. Yes, we have, um, and so it's been really fun planning it. Sure, Because sure. I've gotten to meet a lot of people, but we have um, Society for Creative Anachronisms okay. here. Um, we have the 501st uh, Legion, the Georgia gotcha. Garrison of the 501st yep. Garrison here. Um, we have so many people. Now I'm trying to remember all the names. Sure. Right? We have author, local authors. Yeah. Um, N.A. Williams uh, from Cochrane. We have Chasey Provost um, and Roger Bird are authors. Along with our keynote session is gotcha. um, Mr. Bob Pendarvis. Okay. He was the founder of SCAD's Sequential Arts Program, okay. which is more or less their comic book program. Sure. Gotcha. And, um, and he's also published quite a few books to encourage young people to create comics. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Yeah. Look, you, you mentioned our local authors there. I, I think it's so important that we support our local authors. Yes. Do you agree with that, Ms. I Christina? do agree, yep. Yeah. And we have authors of all types. So right. this event, we have um, you know, someone who's writing vampire books, awesome. horror books, um, and then kids' books with superheroes in them. Gotcha. Yeah. So, yeah, and I was talking with Miss Beverly. Look, this event is just so special because it's really anybody can come out and have a great time here today. Exactly, yeah. And it's, it's 
really anyone can. Right. There's people who are fans. We're just asking people to come out and celebrate their fandom. That's right. And it's whatever it is, whatever they're fans of, they That's can come right. out and um, they can dress as their favorite character, or um, just come out and uh, nerd out with others. That's yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, sure. And look, we got a great turnout, no doubt about that. And tell me, you know, we got all these different tables. I haven't even made my way to the back yet. Uh, right. What's all going on here today? Okay, so yeah, because we also I didn't mention earlier we have the Middle Georgia cosplayers. Okay. So we have a group of people who um, who do you know dress in costumes of their favorite characters, and um, they have a table out here. Um, and then of course there's a lot of people who are just coming dressed up sure. in their costumes. Um, we also have the Flying Nuggets, okay. which are vis they're visiting from Decatur, okay. Decatur, yeah. Georgia, yeah. and it is a group of it's a K through 12 program for Steam for kids, mm -hmm. and so the kids are down here showing off some of their robots and drones. Awesome. Yes, yeah. uh, we also have Legos, uh, Nintendo Switch. Um, some other little like robots for little people right. and um, and some art for sale. Okay, I yeah. got you. Wow, there you go. I mean, so much going on, so many people here today. And how special is it for, for the library? And you mentioned people, you know, not even from around here. How special is it for the library to just host such a big event like this that are just bringing people from everywhere? Yeah, it's great. Um, you know, we got actually got a Facebook comment. Someone's like, I did not know there was something like this yeah, so close right. to home. And, um, yeah, we're really proud to be able to put the, to offer this to our community and right. hope, every, hope it will grow. Yeah, no doubt. And I think, what, is this the is this the third? This is our third. Okay. Yes. And I think that's what's pretty awesome about it is there's a need for things like this in in local rural, rural areas. Yeah, exactly. Right, yeah. because not everyone can travel sure. to uh, Atlanta for right. like Comic-Con yeah, or Dragon sure. Con, right? Or, yeah. um, or even maybe sometimes people can't get to Macon, but they can come to their local library. Right. And we have, um, I also wanted to mention Middle Georgia Paranormal Investigations yeah. are going to be speaking today. Yeah. And um, they're from Macon, but they go, um, they're ghost hunters more or less. Sure. <laughs> so it was going to be great hearing them talk today. Yeah, no doubt. Look, so much going on, Miss Christina. I mean, she coordinated all of it. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> I really, I mean, it's been fun. It's a lot no of work. Doubt. But That's right. But hey, you've seen it pay off today with a great yes. crowd. Great times out here mm -hmm. at the Fan Con. Thank you, Miss Christina. Thank you very much. Hey, I'm Heather Harrison. And I'm Kim Bracewell. And I've been a member at JV Fitness Center for 10 years. And I've been a member for over 20 years. Um, we love taking the strength training class here. The energy from the teachers is just fantastic. And also, I play racquetball and would love to have you come play racquetball with us. So come join us at Fairview Fitness Center. Hey, I got bad reception, but the boys did such a great job letting our friends know about the chip shortage and ordering their vehicles. Now I just need the vehicles to come in. I don't want to end up with pie in my face. I want pie in my face. Lost them. Wow, look at all the new vehicles. Ordering works after all. You got pie now. Others call you customers. We call you friends. That's Dublin Ford Lincoln. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now with the 501st, and we got Mr. Tom with us. And Mr. Tom, look, just, just tell me, what, what is the 501st all about, man? The 501st is a group of Star Wars enthusiasts who do all the costumes for the bad guys in the Star <laughs> Wars world. There's a similar group for the good guys, the sure. Rebel Legion. Sure. So we uh, acquire our costumes, make them, buy them, whichever, and we will go to uh, conventions, we will go to parades, we will uh, go to visit the children's hospitals. Yeah, awesome. we, we love that. Yeah. Uh, and just find all sorts of ways to have a good time, to uh, recruit, and uh, do good works. Yeah, no Our, doubt. The group's motto is bad guys doing good. No, awesome right there, awesome. So you built this is what you're telling me, Mr. Tom. I bought, I built some <laughs> and bought some. Okay, I got you, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. And man, going to the children's hospitals, uh, bad guys doing good, that, that's pretty awesome right there. It is. Uh, we raise money as well. Normally it's for uh, causes like uh, Make-A-Wish gotcha. uh, and other charities so that we can make the world a little better place. That's awesome. Mr. Tom, how long have you been with the 501st, man? Since around 2017. Okay, gotcha. And, and what all have you been able to do in what? How many? Six years? What all, what all have you been able to do in six years? Uh, there's Dragon Con, yeah. a huge convention in Atlanta around Labor Day. We've, I've marched in the parade for that. There was a large convention in Orlando called Celebration. Awesome. It, it goes from different locations, sure. but uh, that was nothing but a Star Wars uh, yeah, uh, awesome. convention. 
awesome. uh, we visited the children's hospital, like I said. And awesome. Man, what, what, what got you here today, Mr. Tom? How'd you hear about this event? Uh, people can, if they're having an event, they can put in a request okay. uh, to get the 501st to appear. And if it's something like this and we're available, we will, we will jump at the opportunity. Yeah, no doubt. And look, the, the lingering question here, what's your favorite Star Wars movie, Mr. Tom? All the original trilogy sure. is, is good. Uh, for anything newer, Rogue One is probably one you of the better ones. You Rogue One, right? I mean, I, I'm all in on Rogue One. I, if I'm ranking them, it's like top three for me, and that may be unpopular, but I can get down with that. No, that's fair <laughs> guess. <laughs> Mr. Tom, thank you for what you're doing out here today. We're glad to have you here yes, in sir. Dublin, man. So, hey, keep doing you out here. Keep rocking that with the 501st. Thank you, Mr. Tom. Thank you, sir. All right, ladies and gentlemen, still at the Fan Con, and now made our way, of course you'll recognize it, the big green reading machine. Hey, We've yeah. got Miss Seal, Miss Marcy, and tell me, what, what, what do we got going on out here today? Well, we're giving away books. We We've go. got a bus full of books, and we see we knew children would be here today yeah. as well as adults. And we're going to give every child that comes up a book to take okay. home. Awesome, man. We want them reading. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And how many books have we given away so far? Oh, about several this yeah. morning. Yeah. Uh, we've still got lots of people coming to the event. Uh, we've just gotten started. So uh, our hopes are a lot more books will be That's given right. away. So. That's right. We think maybe around lunchtime when they see the food trucks and the ice there cream, we'll get a lot of customers. There you go. Yeah, it's still early in the day. Yeah. And hopefully... It doesn't rain, but if it does, you got you got it tarped off. We're yeah, ready to and we'll, go. We'll we'll be on the bus too. Oh, we'll still we be go. giving out books. Oh yeah, either way, regardless. We'll be here. That's right. <laughs> so, how'd you hear about the fan con today, Miss Seal? This is we've been with it every year. Okay. They have invited the big green reading machine, and we've come every year and just had a ball. The library is. I mean, this is a wonderful place with wonderful people that work here. No doubt. Yeah. And, and the library uh, is um, a partner of Dublin City Schools. Okay. So yeah. we do a lot of events. Uh, they come and help us out, and we do the same for them. So. Gotcha. Yeah, awesome. So I know I talked to you all back in, I don't know, it, I know it was really hot. It was the summer. We were at the hospital. Yeah, we were at the hospital. And when I talked to you, the big green reading machine was getting repairs. Is That's that right? right? Mm -hmm. So so we got it back. Tell me about that. How long have we had the big green reading machine back here? Well, we've been in parades, okay, and so we know everything's running cool. Um, we want to get it back out in the community now, and when people see it, especially the kids, that's when they right. see that bus, come see us. We've got some books. That's right. That's right. So we do have another event coming okay. up where the bus will be there. Um, at, it's going to be on April the fifteenth. It's gotcha. Baby Irish. It's going to be it parked in the parking lot of Irish Gifted Academy, gotcha. the middle grades building, and so we have um, that big event coming up. I want to invite everybody to that. 10:30 that that morning. Uh, anybody that's birth to uh, four years old, so go. come on out. Awesome. So April 15th, that's what you April said? April 15th. What, what's the name of it again? Don't, don't let me it's get Baby it Irish. Okay, Baby Irish. Look, come on out, and you can't miss Miss Marcy Miss Sill, and you definitely can't <laughs> miss the bus, so y'all right. come on out. That's right. Come on out. Get get you a free book. They'll be out here, um, or they'll be at the Irish Gifted Academy, and they'll be out here today giving away books. Thank y'all. That's right. Thank, Thank y'all for you. what you do. Thank you. Allen's Heating and Cooling is your licensed Amana equipment dealer. Trust Allen's Heating and Cooling to install and service your heating and air conditioning unit. Allen services all brands, and with the purchase of a new unit, Amana offers a lifetime compressor warranty. Sean Clark or any of his friendly staff can help you today at Allen's Heating and Cooling. Your Amana dealer. Amana. Last and last and last. Georgia Dermatology and Skin Cancer Center has been serving Georgia since 1996. Dr. Michael Sharkey, along with PA's Tony Lynn Herring, Rachel Westerbeck, Alan Manning, and Kelly Toller have helped patients with Mohs skin cancer surgery, routine skin exams, and general and surgical dermatology. So come see the professionals at Georgia Dermatology and Skin Cancer Center, located in Aaron Office Park in Dublin. Call for an appointment today at 275-7546. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now we've got Mr. Bob with us. And now, man, just look, I'll let you take it away. So you got your table right here. Tell me what it's all about here. Yeah, so uh, we are the Society for Creative Anachronism. We do historical reenactment of the Middle Ages. So gotcha. anywhere from about 400 AD to about 1600 AD. Okay, cool. uh, we recreate all the good parts of the Middle Ages. So, you know, the honor, the chivalry, right. the... the um, armor making and everything and we try to shy away from the bad parts like the black plague and right. 
you know, you know it, it, everything else. Yeah, <laughs> everything. All, all the all the not good part, bad yeah. hygiene, all of that. Sure. No. So, um, what we do is we basically get together. Uh, there's, uh, it's a we're a nonprofit organization that's all over the world. Okay. And we get together for events and stuff like that, and we just hang out with our friends. And I may like for me, I'm interested in throwing weapons, so I do sure. throwing axes, throwing knives, yep. throwing spears archery and I research that I learn about it and then I teach other people how to do it okay and then somebody else may be interested in the heavy fighting so we do full contact sure. fighting and uh, they might be out on the field having a war and beating the snot out of each other with sticks sure. so awesome it's whatever was done in the Middle Ages somebody tries to recreate it somebody tries to teach and then we all teach each other about it gotcha. So, wow, so much going on. So, SCA, I, like you say, it's a, a nationwide, is that right? Worldwide. Worldwide, okay. Anywhere, pretty much anywhere you go in the world, you can find a group somewhere. There you go. So, so you're the, the local one, I guess. Yes, so where are you based out of? We're out of Warner Robins okay. area. Yeah. Warner Robins, Macon, kind of this, this geographic region. Gotcha. Um, and we're located in the kingdom of Meridies. Okay. So, Meridies is Alabama, Georgia, and the kind of western part of Tennessee. Sure. And, and then uh, the, we've got a kingdom to the east and a kingdom to the south. And, you know, the whole United States is broke up into kingdoms and then Australia and sure. Europe and stuff like that. Gotcha. So so how did you get involved with uh, SCA? So growing up, I, you know, always gravitated towards medieval stuff, right. built castles with Legos sure. and, you know, shot archery and loved doing archery and Boy Scouts. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I came across this one day, happened to see some people beating each other with sticks in a field, and I said, hey, what's that? And I went over, and they're like, oh, yeah, we do Middle Ages reenactment. And I'm like, this is the thing I didn't know I needed in my yeah, life. There you go. Sure. So, so that I kind of kind of didn't dip a toe in. I went in yeah. head first, yeah, like full well. arm, and uh, yeah. For sure. So you're out here today. What, what's coming up for SCA? Uh, so in a couple of weeks, we actually have an event uh, up at the Boy Scout camp in okay. Byron. Yeah. Um, usually pulls about three to four hundred people. Okay. And that's it's called Fool's War, and it's our, our local event that we our group runs. And it'll just be they'll be fighting, they'll be camping, they'll be hanging out, arts and crafts, um, live weapons, so shooting archery and throwing axes, and yeah. So when you when you're running your reenactments, is it? Full scale. We, we've got how 400 people out here. Full scale war. Or how how does that work? Uh, it's so it's you're very much everybody's a part of the environment. Sure. So even if you were to come out, yep. we would throw a tea tunic on you. Okay. And you just be you. You're Hang just hanging that. out with everybody. Yes. Yep. You know, think Ren Fair, but instead of watching, yeah, you're a part of it. I got you. You're you're just there. You're in the environment. Awesome. So. There may be two or three hundred people over here fighting all day long, yeah. and then you know you got other people just that just want to hang around around the camp okay. and cook food on their campfire. Okay, awesome! Wow, that that's awesome. Look, CSCA. Am I saying that right? SCA. SCA. Yeah, sorry. Society for Creative Anachronism. SCA. Okay. It's a bit of a mouthful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm gonna get it though. Look, if you want to get involved, how, how could somebody get involved with it? Uh, so definitely check out SCA.org. Okay. Uh, that'll that's kind of the overall website for the whole organization, and then. Uh, we are the Shire of Tier Brist, okay. uh, so you can go to tierbrist at meridies.org, um, and those are two good real starting points, and they'll uh, check out our Facebook. We have a Facebook account. Okay. There you go. Uh, that's a great way to get a hold of us. There you go. SCA. Am I saying that right? Yep. <laughs> okay, there we go. SCA. There they are. Look, if you need somewhere to get involved, there you go, SCA, man. Thank you for talking with yeah, me. Yeah, absolutely. Have a good day. All right, we're having a good time out at FanCon. Now we got John with us, and John, man, I tell you, what what brings you out today to FanCon? Oh, I'm just I'm just here for fun. I'm here for everything. Yeah. Everything, everything. I can't even tell you anything in specific. It's just it's just everything. For sure, John. And look, we we were talking off camera, and you're you're a fan of everything, right? You, mm -hmm, you agree mm -hmm. with that? Yes, I do. Absolutely. Yeah, and you, you don't you don't have one that's above the other. You're just here for everything, and yes, sir, no yes, doubt about sir. that. So, John, I, this is the third FanCon. Have you ever been before? Uh, yes, I have. Yes, I have. I've been to the. I, I went to the second one last year in 2022. Gotcha. So yeah, came last year. What all did you get to do last year? And you know what brings you back this year? Uh, let's see. Um, 
Well, I got I got a few souvenirs. Yeah. Um, uh, I got some food. Yeah. Uh, that. Uh, you know, met some I met some panelists. Uh, yeah. Had some interesting conversations. Um, um, got to got to participate in a video game competition. Sure. Awesome. Yep. 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 I won. I beat everybody. <laughs> of uh, course. Um, Look, there's a lot going on. Now. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's a, lot a lot you can be a part of, John. And you, t you talk oh, oh, I participated in a couple of scavenger hunts. Okay. I don't think I won, though. I don't think I won. I mean, you had to be close. I can tell you that. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> you maybe. mentioned uh, some some speakers, some panelists you talked to last year, and I know. Are you going to make your way over there today? Oh, uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I plan on it. Yeah. Do you know who's over there, John? I mean, we got some great. Oh uh, no. Some great nope. Panels. I just. I just got here. I just got here. I just. I made a. I made a fashionably late yeah. entrance this time, so so I have no idea. So so I'll I'll tell you I'll tell you when I meet him. Yeah, no doubt. Look, John, I'm gonna let you get to it, man. I know you're looking for them souvenirs, I and mean, you got a lot of people to talk to. You got a lot of people to meet. Yes, so sir. glad to have John here at FanCon. So glad to be here at FanCon, man. I'm glad I'm glad to be here, and I'm I'm glad to talk to people like you. Thank you, John. Hey Devil Lawrence County, thanks for 25 great years here at Mellonmore. Packing and shipping of course is what we do, but if you need that passport photo, we're here for that too. We're here Monday through Friday, 9.30 to 5.30. We're here to help you here at St. Patrick's or any time during the year. Look forward to seeing you here. Come see your friends here at Mellonmore. And on behalf of everybody here at Mellonmore, thanks for 25 great years. We look forward to seeing you soon. Welcome to MedPlus Immediate Care in Dublin. Our urgent care walk-in medical clinic is located at 1006 Hillcrest Parkway in Dublin. Southeastern Immediate Care is now MedPlus. We're excited to add Southeastern Clinic to our brand of urgent cares. We strive for a five-star experience for every patient encounter. Our goal is to provide the very best in class urgent care at MedStop Clinic experience from the moment you walk in our front door. Looking to be seen today? Our providers are available seven days a week to help you feel better. At our urgent care, no appointments are necessary. We offer a simple online check-in process to get you seen quicker. We look forward to seeing you in person at MedPlus Immediate Care in Dublin, 1006 Hillcrest Parkway. Call 478-272-8140, 478-272-8140. All right, we've made our way back to the to the comics and section. We've got Lauren with us. She works at Comics and. Am I saying it right, Comics and? Yes, comics, comics and. So and it's loud back in here, and it should be because we are excited. And so Lauren, tell me, how, how long have you been working at Comics and? For about a year now. Okay, and, and what's your role at, at the store? I am the front face that you usually see when you walk in. I help you with. Um, Bring out what you want, what you need. Uh, I come in, I price things out, and I just kind of help around. There you go. So, look, tell me, if I walk into the store, what can I expect? I'm looking around. What do I see in the store? You'll see Magic the Gathering, Flesh and Blood, uh, Pops, uh, okay. Chibi stuff, comics, anime. You've got, it's a variety. It's literally everything. In For, store. Sure. For sure. No That's doubt. Sure. So, you're downtown. Where are we at downtown? So, if you look at Dino's, we are a couple of stores down okay. from Dino's. Gotcha, gotcha. And I know comics come out, what, weekly, monthly? How does that work out? Um, usually by month. Okay. And then after each month, they kind of, we get new shipments in constantly. Or you can order, we do okay. custom orders. Okay, gotcha. So how would I do one of those custom orders? You just come in, you tell me what issue, what number, um, and if you want it sealed, signed, we will try to find it at the best price for you. Okay, awesome. There you go. So a lot going on at Comics and go check them out. And Lauren, we got a hit on, you got a big day coming up at the yes. beginning of May. Tell me about that. We have free comic book day. You come in and we have free comics, uh, all different genres, all different styles even. Uh, just come in and check it out on May 6th. There you go. Look, come check out the comic store. You can go in there. Like you say, you got board games, you got Magic the Gathering, you can buy you a pop, you can get you some comics. Come see Lauren down there. She's here at the FanCon. Thank you, Lauren. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, about to call it a day for me here at Fantastic Futures FanCon 2023. Awesome event, so many people here checking it out, so many vendors, tables, speakers. Awesome event for so many people here. Anybody can come out like we've said throughout the show. Come on out next year if you missed it. One of the last events on that St. Patrick's Festival calendar, it is the Fantastic Futures Fan Con.